I just don't want to fight in a war we have nothing to do with. Everyone's joking about getting drafted. Well, guess what, besties? I'm not going to get drafted. From now on, I'm not American. I'm Palestinian. I'm Colombian. I'm Omani. I'm Japanese. You guys say that, like, prison is 50,000 times worse than serving in a war, because let's weigh out our options here, okay? I'm not a pussy. I just don't want to fight in a war we have nothing to do with. And neither do 95% right. of people that are in the military right now. Interesting. So, <laughs> the man in his bathrobe uh, doesn't want to fight in a war. I understand. Do people want to go fight in another war with no mission, no end game, no vision of what winning looks like? Gen Z, and we're going to get to it. Thanks for coming back to Jameson's Travels. Don't want to fight. They don't want to go. I've done a video like this before. Let's see what this gentleman has to say. Stand by. Do you know why people sign up for the military? Why? It's not because they want to risk their lives fighting for our country. It's because they come from low-income, underprivileged families, and this is the only way for them to better their lives, not only for themselves, but for their future families. Thanks for letting me know why people join the military. I appreciate him telling me. Now, there used to be a thing called patriotism. It was a family tradition. Maybe you're from, like, lower middle class, but it was a tradition. Granted, most of the people who died in wars historically have been poor white men from the South. That's a thing. But yet now, <laughs> let's keep going. Every single vet I've talked to has a list of physical and mental disabilities after serving. In fact, I even know one who had so many mental issues, he unalived himself in front of his entire family from psychosis. So am I a pussy for not wanting that? You guys love throwing around the term pussy, fruitcake, low testosterone, when in reality, I'm tall enough to step over 95% right. of you, and I grow so much facial and body hair, I can't even keep up with it. Just because I like men doesn't mean I have low testosterone. In fact, 25% of you have slept with a man at some point in your lives. You guys- Is that true? Side note, 25% of dudes slept with a man? And what I'm hearing from the young fella, I hear from a lot of Gen Z, you guys in the comments, the last video, I'll put the link in the comments. Gen Z don't want to fight, and you saw all the reasons. They didn't want to fight for Israel, but they didn't want to fight for cutting off the stones of young boys, right? The more I go along, it's hard to argue the point, right? Because we've taken away patriotism. Now, I still think one pump in the military is not going to be a bad thing for most people. They go in, they learn some skills, perspective on life. Now, that's my take. What this guy's saying here is hard to argue. It's just seemed to be taking something to the grave or projecting something onto me. Everyone's joking about getting drafted. Well, guess what, besties? I'm not going to get drafted because the second they announce... You're not getting drafted because even though women can be in combat arms jobs, they're not eligible for the draft. Maybe that. You notice that? They put a vote out in the House a while back. Should women be in the selective service? The answer was no. <laughs> I mean... It's amazing. That shit. First thing I'm going to do is go get braces. And if that doesn't work, me right. and my bestie are going to sit in the garage and break each other's left feet. And if that doesn't work, we're going to go get pregnant. And if that doesn't work, do you guys honestly think we're scared of going to prison? If a country can't get enough people to volunteer to fight a war, then you probably shouldn't be fighting it. Go ahead and get your senior citizen butt up and go fight it yourself. Because I sure the fuck ain't. Y'all really think... These people, it's unbelievable. Let's say there was a war that we all were committed to. I do think there'd be a problem with recruitment. I think half of the country would say, well, I'm for the enemy. Like if the CCP came to the United States and said, we're taking over, I think you'd have 40% of the country say, okay, I'd be better, the best thing. <laughs> it's not a threat to the democracy. It's a very weird timeline to watch in my 50s, right? Watching this happen so fast. I'm going, wow. We're going to willingly show up to fight after we saw how y'all treated the people that were drafted into Vietnam. No, ma'am. Now the people that got drafted in Vietnam, you could go deeper. You could say, well, all the men women who served in the GWAD, 20 years fighting the desert, how they're treated by the VA. Thank you for your service. You could say that. Now, if you go in willingly, but you're young, naive, you do one pump maybe, you're in the desert, a few tours of combat, and then you come back, and you may be messed up. It's such a traumatic, impactful event, right? And you get out, and you're expecting like a worker's comp at a minimum, and you're sold this bill of goods. I think that's the problem. You're sold it. And then you find out, good luck, thank you for your service. You'll be seen by a mental health therapist in eight months. Good luck, son. All right, to uh, answer your question, how did I get all of this covered? So I'm in How do you think they got it covered? If you made it this far, I wanna thank you. I don't have a Patreon, I have a Locals. Check that out. If you like the videos, wanna support the channel, been demonetized, go to Locals, you can go there for free, see some content. I prefer you go there and you contribute to the cause, continue the message. So this person's in the military, and TRICARE paid for this, facial feminization surgery. And I mentioned the VA a minute ago. 
So is this where you want the resource, the finite amount of resource we have placed on this? The video in the past, San Antonio's got a whole center for excellence for transition care. So they're in the promotion pool, they're on light duty forever, they're not deployable, PT standards don't apply. Done that in a prior video, you can check to see the DOD document on that. In the military and TRICARE basically has been upgraded and updated their policies over the last couple of years to accommodate trans soldiers and the procedures that we need to become ourselves. Maybe that's a recruiting tool now, right? I mean, how many of these people are there for real? There are 10,000 in the country? They could go in, want to go in, eligible to go in, they want to go in for the care so they can basically be on light duty, shuffling papers their entire career, getting paid. This person's on TRICARE, so I'm sure they're home, not working, not being in the military. You're picking up the slack. Of course, they're getting promoted at the same rate you are. It's been a long time. You know, I've had to wait a long time for this, but uh, eventually my time came around. Right. I had to, it was a process, you know, I had to go through all the evaluations. I had to get all the doctors involved. I had to get right. my commander, my command team and all of them involved. There were so many paperworks I had to get signed. Paperworks? I mean, paperwork. I don't know what happened in the English language, but now I bet there's a lot of paperwork. Because think about this, you get all this done, you see the nose job, braces, of course, we're paying for. I'm sure there are fake silicones installed, chopping off parts. Expensive, right? Now, what this person does on their own, rock on, do you. But now we're taking the finite resources away. You know, it's going different places. I understand TRICARE is different than the VA, but there's only so much money they're allocating towards this cause. And then does this make us more effective? Maybe this is the recruiting crew Gen Z needs to go in, but how many people are there? I mean, this is shocking. Shocking. People sit by and go, well, what are you going to do? Don't be a meanie. You know, that's what I am. I've been told. I'm a big fat meanie on YouTube. Thanks for being here.